Oh, now welcome to Prof Choice Food channel. Oh, welcome to Prof Choice Food. If I are new to this channel, welcome. And I don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the notification bell below so that I will get notified when I post new videos. And to my loyal subscribers, oh, now do hello, Mira Magnio. So today we're going to cook delicious Nigerian food, the Prof Choice way. Man, let me know for the comment section and I think enjoy this video. So this is now all the ingredients, the overview of all the ingredients we will go use today. I just the show on all of them before I go show on one one. So man, I pay attention. Man. So the first ingredient we will go need nine be water yam. I go use one water yam. Then I go use cocoa yam, the white one. Remember now the white one they use today. Then periwinkle, the shelled one. I don't cut the tail come out. I go show on and later how they take cut them. I wash and thoroughly come out all the dirty. I wash and with salt water too. So <clears throat> the next ingredient we're gonna need be dry fish or if you use any protein of your choice. Dry fish, you go the bone and come out all the bone, wash and keep. Then we're gonna need onions. We're gonna need plenty sliced onions, plenty. Then we're gonna need stock fish and uh, crayfish. We blend together inside our bottle. Then we're gonna need bouillon season and salt with it inside this plate. Then we're we'll gonna need fresh pepper. You go blend them. Then red oil with the inside bottle. Then we're we'll gonna need plenty scent leaf and curry leaf. Plenty. Go we'll use some tea wrapper and then use some tea cooker. So plenty scent leaf, plenty curry leaf. I'll go use today. So I just show now all the ingredients again we're gonna need for the uh, egg pancook of today before we start main meal. So the first two we'll go do go ahead go peel the uh, water yam and the cocoa yam peel them. And then right now we'll go cut the periwinkle. The show now me I take the cut the periwinkle. So you go cut the uh, the bottom the. Uh, but some come out before you wash them thoroughly. So see as me they tell use the um, blonde part of the cutlass. They tell the they do one. The cut and come out. Come out the tails. Then I don't cut and finish wash them thoroughly with salt and plenty water to come out all the dead. Maybe just one time we're going to use those plenty different different water. You wash them, come out and wash them. You use clean water, come out and like that until it clean well well to come out all the dirty. So now, now this one are the water yam where I don't peel. So now you go use grater. You go use the small side of grater. Take grater. So you go grater the water yam and the cocoa yam together. Remember now the small part of the grater. Now you go take grater. So grater. And I care for a bit more. You know grater you hand join. You know say people with the grater or crawl. But people with the grater usually. They, they usually grater their hand sometimes. So now I don't grater the cocoa yam and the water yam together. But if you see it looks like no mix way. See, 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 see the water yam separate, the cocoa yam separate. So now what you go do, you're going to need to wash your hand well, well with soap and running water. Not just use rubber water. Make the water they run. Use soap, wash your hand well, well. Because you're going to use mix this cocoa yam and the water yam together. May blend together. So I don't wash my hand, finish. So see how they use my hand, they, they mix them. So for hand, it, they, it, they slimy. But they okay, you know, just they think of the end result. I go taste sweet when they chop them. I go rokosh. So you just have to mix and wear. Mix and wear. Mix and make everything mix well. So now me, I don't mix my own thoroughly finish. So now I go carry sizable pot. We go take cook the food done. The egg pan cook done. Then I go come carry, um, what do you call them? See the egg pan cook done for tray for corner. Then see my scent leaf for corner. Already washed scent leaf. Go use the scent leaf, take wrap and put for the pot. But first, we go put oil inside the pot so that the egg pan cook no go gum the pot. Cause no go like me the thing gum gum. So we go put oil, then uh, oil the pot like a rubber, rubber grease them so that it no go gum, it no go burn for that. So now we go how I want to take a uh, wrap and be so we go carry one scent leaf. Carry sizable amount of the cocoa yam and the water yam mixture. Wrap them inside one cent leaf. 
you go put them for pot. You carry one one now you go need to do them. So I know the process so then they rush you. Except you don't do them where now if you speed up small. But you're gonna one one cent leave, no double descent leave them. So it's just how they do them for the view now. So you carry one cent leave. We'll put a sizable amount of the mixture of the cocoa and the water and mixture. You go wrap them, you go put them. So you go repeat them until you don't finish all the mixture. So see, I'm now me. I don't mix, I don't put all of them, I don't wrap all of them, put for pot. Do I'm like until you finish all of them. So now, so don't put them inside pot, so finish. So now, next thing I will add our f dry fish, we'll don't debone wash, come on, finish. So you add your dry fish. Then we'll go add our blended pepper. So add blended pepper. Then we'll go add our bouillon seasoning and salt to taste. Just enough to taste. Bouillon and salt to taste. Then we'll go add <clears throat> our onions. Go we'll add some of the onions. Maybe all of them will we'll add some of them, but we'll still we'll add plenty right now. Then right now I just add my crayfish and stock fish, stock fish mixture. So you add them. Then now we don't add our periwinkle. We'll wash thoroughly to come out the dirt and the sand. Add your periwinkle. Then you go add boiling water now. Remember I talked the boiling water. Enough water we go cover the whole mixture plus the inside everything. Put enough boiling water we go cover all, all the mixture. Mixture. And then now you go cover the pot. Then allow me boil for medium heat. No turn am I know say good attempt to one turn the mixture, the like the maggi, the salt, the crayfish, all of them together, but no turn now. I go tell them I went to turn them. Now when the thing don't they boil, when you don't they see bubble, don't they boil when I go turn them. If not, the thing go scatter, the wraps go, go, go scatter. So just cover like that, make it boil for about 20 minutes on till the thing don't they boil. No open the pot, no turn now. Just leave and close and clap like this, make it in until they boil pro properly. So as if they look from my glass cover, if they see say down the boil, I think you go see say now nah, me I go open my own pot. They look oh. So now nah, me I go open my own. Then I go use spatula. I go use spatula to take turn and from corner corner. I know we just go go the turn and crease crease. So remember, I say you wrap the egg man with the uh, mixture, the what I am and the scent leaf. So right now, it's never done. So you know, if you just they go the turn turn, I know go scatter. You know, we go unwrap. So it's just how they bring them in from corner, from corner, they turn. Bring them in from corner gently, they turn for the video. Now, so you go taste one. At this point, now you go taste for seasoning. So after I don't turn that, you go taste for salt. No come, you fix it. Pepper, no come, you fix it. Adjust the seasoning as necessary. So after you adjust and finish, you go off the stove, put them for corner. Now Moku prepare the oil. We we'll go take mix the pan cooker. So for dry frying pan, put oil, the amount of oil we want to use for the pan cooker. Once the oil hot, put the rest of your uh, uh, onions. She be at the say we go need plenty onions. So put plenty onions now. So put the rest of your onions. Allow me fry for about two minutes. Allow me fry for about two minutes. So this one about two minutes later. So right now we can transfer that uh, oil, um, onions and oil into the egg pancake cooker sauce, the egg pancake cooker pot. So you go on the stove back for the egg pancake cooker pot. Then you go come mix them. Mix the oil together with the uh, pan uh, pot of food. So mix and let that mix and mix and well. Make the oil and the pan mix together. So now we don't put the rest of the scent leaf and the rest of the curry leaf. Remember, I said for beginning, I'm so we we'll need plenty. We we'll use some of them, some of the scent leaf to wrap the cocoyama, the watayam mixture. Now we don't put the rest of the scent leaf and the curry leaf right now. So we we'll put all of that, we we'll mix some. Allow me cook for about five minutes for medium heat. Make all everything mix, make it gone body wear. And my people, now in be that to work, man, cook all done ready, ready, ready. Time to work, time to enjoy, time to live on, live on. Why not talk plenty, but it is time to chop. So, man, I enjoy this recipe. I get plenty other videos, oh, like jollof video, a goosey soup, white soup. 
how to even do custard and akamusef. Man, I go watch them. They always do video for English and for Nigerian pigeon. So man, I go check them out. Any language I prefer, and I enjoy the two self. Man, I don't forget to subscribe. Man, I like. Man, I share this video to other people. So everybody go enjoy this recipe, the prof choice way. I appreciate on our web web. Man, I don't forget to come back and check me out. Love on our web web. Bye bye.